Oh, I got the M running. I did a little bit more to it than I bargained for, but it all was needed. So I got, got the starter on there. I got new fuel filter. I changed the oil, got the new cables in. Uh, the sediment bowl looks like it's actually got some sediment in the bottom of it, even though I just cleaned it. But, yeah, I changed the oil out, the filter. Uh, these have drain plugs on them. You know, a lot of guys, you know, they'll drain them, whatever. I've never had prop had to do that. Um, I've never had to use the drain plug on here. I just take the filter off and there's nothing runs out. I use a five gallon bucket I put underneath there in case any drips or whatever, but uh, got a square bolt on the pan. I just use, I just lock uh, vice grips on there and it turns out. But uh, sounding good, running good, and I'm feeling good. It's time to plant. I need to get over there to that field. Let me show you what condition it's in and why. So here we are, we're at the rain gauge. We got about an inch in, oh, I'll say three eighths of rain. But you know, the thing of it is, is this soil down here is sandy. It's, it's, it's gravel bottom, it does drain well. Let's head over to the field, take a look. So even just under an inch and a half of rain, you can see this is pretty well drained. Um, I'm going to walk out here on this. And holy crap, a lot of deer tracks out here, but it's gooey, it's a little chewy. You know, no doubt about it, it is, it's chewy. But if I, if I show you with my foot here, you know, I mean, it's not bad. I think I can get in here with a caldum mulcher and just level this out, and I'll be good to go. Just put the dirt where it isn't. I mean, you do have some spots here that if I went another day, uh, it could use it could use the day, uh, no doubt. But it's supposed to rain again on Tuesday, and whew, look at how far that deer sank in the dirt. Must have walked across here when it was hoof print. Almost looked like a cow, like somebody's cow got out or something. But yep, and uh, you know I. I think it's pretty dry. This said it just, if you know what I'm talking about, just when you're walking on the field, you, the, it's not really sticking to my shoe. You know, the mud, not really a little bit is, but for the most part, it just feels like you're walking on rubber. And oh, there's the crow. Poor crow. I don't know how you got there or how you died. I have no idea. None whatsoever. And we're going to walk over here to this wet spot. This is the spot, really, that I I want to level out and whatnot. Now, a lot of guys are still going on and on and on and on and on about the plow depth that I did this. And it's apparent that they didn't watch the, the following video uh, where I show you how deep I was going. I was going at least eight inches, you know. And when you plow, you know, I've seen I've seen videos where you plow... And guys, they're going so deep that the dirt just it, it just it just stands right up on its side. Okay, it shouldn't do that. You got ground here. You're plowing it up, over, down. That's a proper plow, not going so deep that it turns up on its side. You don't want it turning up on its side. You just don't. So I think this looks pretty good. I'm gonna give it a couple hours and get the caldum ultra out here and. Get it leveled. Got one little stone there. Not a big deal. Um, I won't be combining this, so I'm not real worried about stones. Or yeah, there's another one there. I like to pick them, anyways. I'm just I hate weeds and I hate stones. So I'm gonna put these alongside the field here. No, oh, no. Yeah. A nice little landscape pile there but anyways that's where the field's at right now and ooh I guess this back part here didn't get as much sun and wind because I just sank in a little bit if I sank tractors definitely gonna so we're gonna give this 
the rest of today. But this out in here is, is just, it's ready to go. Oh, she running like a top, ready for work. Well, I got the M hooked up to the Coldham Ultra. I noticed one of these tires was a little low. And I can tell you, this is a really nice gadget. I know I've showed some of you subscribers this, but uh, it's just a portable inflator. And uh, it's got a digital readout on it, whatnot. You know, right there. And I can preset it for whatever poundage I want. It'll automatically stop. But what a nice field gadget, you know get out in the field maybe you got a little leaky tire I mean yeah you could throw fix a flat in it or tire jacked or whatever but this is nice well we're rolling And you can see what the rain did. Now I did come through here right here. I am not dropping the teeth on that call to mulcher. I'm kind of more packing than anything. Uh, the grounds broke up good enough. This is just pure mud and crap through here. Not good, but uh, nothing I'm gonna be able to do about it. <clears throat> I wanna get some seed in the ground. Even if I have to bypass this till later on, I may even come in, believe it or not, uh, a friend of mine, a buddy of mine's got a, a tiller on the back of his little Kubota and just once this is bone dry Just have him come in and till this and level it off and then just work this over here, but I'm walking on this It's it's a little chewier than I thought now. It's been hours. It's been three four hours since I've Talked about this and I can tell you the closer I get to here and away from here the wetter it's gonna be so this first pass is going to be interesting. It shouldn't take me long to do all of this. All I'm trying to do is pack and level this dirt. And, you know, we got a little bit of high spot here. Put it where it isn't. Take the dirt and put it where it isn't. So that when I come in here and plant it, everything's level. You get better emergence, uh, too, when your ground's level. As the seed to soil contact is much more uniform. Yes, sir. Dress right, dress how we do it but uh, it's probably gonna be all the M1s coming through this stuff but you can see I had to give her all she wanted and all she had to get through that and if you look at the tires yeah it's sticking to them so the dirt is sticking to the tires
Now you can see what I've done here. I've gone this way with the call to mulcher, and now I'll plant it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get a little bit deeper into that that wet spot over there. I, it's actually dry up to the water, so I'm gonna do that and then uh, go hook the grain drill up. I'm in fourth gear right now, uh, about half idle, half throttle. I'm just gonna come through here. You can see over there how wet it is. down into third if it bogs too bad but not doing too bad right now Yeah. 